Mr. Perry has given me the opportunity to come in and show that I can improve and become the actress that I can become today. About to go. No, 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 no. I am not through with you yet. Mama, move. Did you say move? Girl, have you lost your... I am your mother. I sing a song called You Only Live One, Mother. I love the song because it branches out to the old as well as the young because the young has to realize that they're going to get old as well. Remember these words I say I'm the only mother you've ever had The people that he chose for this production, they're such a spiritual, such a great family orientation with this group. God had, had to have given him the vision to choose these people because they are awesome. I'm from Tuscaloosa, and uh, she is from Oklahoma City. Yeah, yes. Tulsa, Oklahoma. So she has to hurry up and get back because there's only like eight black people there, so they are looking for her for the service. All right. I had my sister cleaning this building while I was in the hospital, and her line behind told me she cleaned it from corner to corner. Hospital? Are you okay? <sighs> yeah, I'm fine. Lisa is a character who was married to a man who was an NBA basketball star. Um, so she's lived, I'm sure, the life of the rich. And um, she was abused, and he infected her with HIV, and she left him. And she's now working as a cleaner lady. She's a strong, virtuous woman who has accepted the battle that she has, and she's going on with her life and she's still happy. I'm going to have to leave, so you might want to start looking for a replacement. Why? I have HIV. What? Oh, no, 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 no. You stop being sorry for me. I'm okay. Honey, I've been dealing with this. I know God got me. I auditioned in Atlanta um, amongst people from several other states. I interviewed in front of Mr. Perry. I um, auditioned in front of him. I, I read the script and I sang a song for him, and I was cast. Every day, every single day he gives me, I'll get the prize to win, yes. I'm glad for the opportunity, for the chance. I know that, you know, many people, you know, wanted a chance, and I was chosen, and I'm grateful. Look out for this voice, you know, phenomenal voice, a very good actor, a very good student. The there are so many parts that we all still laugh at. The first scene that I have with Judith, where um, I'm not scolding her, I'm kind of making a joke about her being upset about her husband working so much. The audience always responds to that because, you know, there's so many women out there in the world that we just appreciate having a working man. He had to work. It's always about work. Your husband is working. He got a job and you upset. Oh, gee. Me. Right before I um, walk through the door for my first scene, I just always, I give it to God. I say, unto you, you know, may this performance be representative of what you would have it to be, and may it deliver the message that God would want me to have it deliver. Trying to call me putting on makeup. I wasn't really putting it on, you know. <laughs> the character I play in Tyler Perry's The Marriage Counselor is Ronald Henry. He's a very affluent, famous uh, NBA star. Baby girl, wow, uh, hey! Uh, wow, mm. uh, oh, uh, what a surprise. Oh, well, it's no surprise to me that you still look as good as you do, baby. Look at you. And what Goodness. brings you here? He's the former love interest of Judith Jackson, and he comes back after years uh, to try to reclaim her. He uses his money and his looks and his charm and his wit and the little demon within him to get the one thing that he couldn't win, and that was her. I don't give a damn about you being married. I'm rich. And Jay, sweetheart, when I tell you that I'm rich, <laughs> I'm rich. I can take you away from all of this. You think I'm some trophy that you can just take off the shelf and reclaim? <laughs> yes, I do. I was selected for the role of Ronald Henry for Tyler Perry's The Marriage Counselor by way of a friend of a friend. They said, 
send a package in. Send a package in, didn't hear anything. Then out of the blue, we want to fly you out to Atlanta for you know an audition. So I auditioned for Mr. Perry, and he said, how you doing? I said, hi. He said, okay, you have a song prepared? And I'm like, no, I'm not here to sing. He said, okay, you got to leave. And I'm like, oh, he was just kidding. But then he had me do my monologue, and then maybe five or six weeks later, I get a call. You know that feeling you get when you're going down a roller coaster? That was it right there. I love you. I love you, Jay. And after all that we just shared, I mean, I thought you might love me back. The one word that I would say describes Ronald Henry is that he's a coward. Jay, I did not say you could leave this house. Where the hell you been? I went to the mall, and, and then I decided to go in. Um... Shut up. He hides behind his austere demeanor and his looks and his money and his fame and his power. And so he hides behind all the exterior things, you know, to mask who he really is, you know, on the inside. You put your hands on my wife. Yeah. Now you're going to have to kill me. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's it, son. Come on. Come on. Some of the pre-show rituals that I do um, to really get into Ronald, who Ronald Henry is, is I would compliment myself in the mirror, and right behind each compliment, I, I'd insult myself. It's, it's what people would say, you know, they'd say, oh, he's a great ball player, but people that really know him know that he's a jerk. Jay, I swear you better not ever, ever leave this house without talking to me first. Do you understand me? My favorite part in the, uh, in the play is that I get to transform from a nice guy to the bad guy. People can actually say, okay, this dude is crazy. <laughs> oh, I'm hurting you, huh, Jay? <laughs> Baby girl, mm. I ain't hurt you yet. Wait a second, sit your butt back down before I kill you. I like to be able to transform and play pretend and be someone who I'm totally not. That's the fun part for me. This is my little baby sister. 